Hello everyone, welcome back to my new tutorial, the third episode of the series Building a New City in SimCity 4. In the last two episodes, we focused on the building of the new city and the fundamentals of city building. I introduced you to the intricate features of SimCity 4 and how to use the graphs and the data views and the opinion polls to improve your city. This week, we shall focus on the finances of the city. Now, as you can see now in this example, our current balance, our money is at about $20,000 and our income and expenses are almost balancing out. So we are losing a few tens of dollars a month. While it is possible to survive for years in the long run, the little money that we have is not very good because we will need money to finance our civics and also to rebuild our power plants and water supplies as they grow old so we will need to improve our budget so right now I shall teach you how to improve your budget I've already run this city for a while and the neighboring industrial cities so that developments will be encouraged and now our city is looking pretty nice with a new city hall and I have built a minor league stadium so all this costs money and we'll need to find new ways to finance our city so as you can see the income expenses are almost even and I would say a good net income of 800 to 2000 dollars a month for a small city will be good so we'll try to aim for that and now we shall see how we clear up our debts firstly we shall open our money budget as, as you can see it is very clear there's the money income tabs and the money expenses tabs so we will try to increase our money income tabs and decrease our money expenses tabs and first you can see the tax rates of the city I, I, I've already reduced the tax rates of the residential commercial and industrial so that more developments will come in so in the long run is recommended that you keep to these tax rates for higher wealth residential we will lower the tax rates to encourage more growth because for a new city higher wealth residents and commerce will come in very slowly similarly to our industries high tech industries we have lowered the taxes and we will tax higher tax rates for dirty industries to discourage its growth and so we shall not touch the tax rates for now but sometimes if your city is deep in debt, it is viable to increase the tax rates for a while while you balance out the expenses. As you can see here, we shall look at the monthly expenses now. For the transportation de department, you can see that we are earning 300 per month for our fares and we can see that we need to pay money to service our roads and we also need money to service our bus stops and stuff. So this is a very important funding that you can reduce. Now we shall check our public safety department. We have fire stations and police stations. The department of corrections is the um, the funding for jails. So it's important that you drag the bar all the way down to about $40 or so to reduce the money used by the jail. And to be sure you can check the jail here. It has more than enough cells to feel the inmates especially for a small city so do not keep the maintenance cost at $300 or you'll be losing a lot of money and you need to check your data views for your fire hazard check how the fire station is covering the entire city as you can see here the circle is covering the square plots of land really well and right here we have another fire station and similarly for the police station this is also the case so we are well utilizing our crime and fire stations police stations I mean and now you can see our expenses are slowly creeping up so this is a huge concern I have no idea why this is happening so now we shall check it out and next we will check on the health and education sector they are using up a lot of money as you can see we have a university and a large elementary school so you can click on this to check out the funding as you can see, the university has 200 students but our capacity is 1,300 so you are actually using a lot of money to fund the university lower the tab by decreasing the capacity to about 499 or so so that the monthly expenses will be lowered 
And you can see the large elementary school. We are funding more than 500 more students capacity than what we can, than what we are using now. So we can lower it. Usually I will give about 300 more students for ele elementary schools, for large ones, and 100 for small elementary schools. So this is around the number. Now we have reduced the funding by a bit. And school buses and ambulances are very important. So do not touch the monthly estimate, uh, the fundings. And now we shall check our utilities for our sanitation department. All these are the landfill users. The landfill cost and we have two coal power plants and water pumps. Okay, this type of funding cannot be reduced. But just to be sure, you can check them out. Now we are using 55% of our maximum capacity of the water pumps. For a small city, we always have, always have this problem of um, having two water pumps later in the city and underutilizing them. As you can see, 55%. But if we demolish one water pump, then it won't have enough water for the entire city. So sometimes you just have, you just have to demolish them and build some water towers in replacement and to be sure check that the usage is good now it's 75% so the usage is really good and you can check the power plants the usage is 63% which is very good and next we shall check our ordinances now the ordinances are using a lot of money per month which is 1.4k usually usually our take the legalized gambling which helps us to increase our money estimate and this lottery program is supposedly a cheat that I downloaded I don't know why some of the plugins from my external hard drive went into this city so now we have many extra features in SimCity that we are not supposed to have so just ignore this and right now you can see we are using a lot of money for ordinances you can see our water conservation program which is not very good usually you can untick this so that we are using we do not use too much what too much um, expenses for the program and paper waste reduction program is also not a very good program so you can remove it for all these trash resort requirements smoke detectors neighborhood watch these are good um, ordinances so keep them junior sports program can be kept but just to be but if your city is losing money you can untick it and shuttle service are good clean air act is up to your discretion it will help to reduce dirty industries but also lower their demand and we have the youth curfew act which I think is unnecessary because we already have police stations and the Automobile Emission Reduction Act which is also very expensive you can remove that and the Nuclear Free Program is also a very expensive um, funding so we need to remove this and the Tire Recycling Program, the Pro Reading Campaign all these you can keep because they are very, very good programs so now we have reduced our ordinance um, funding now we can check um, the city beautification these are the funds that you use to build your parks and recreation you can see that we are actually spending a whopping $870 out of the $7,000 we are earning per month to fund all these parks um, as a guideline I would say that you should use only 5% of what you earn out of the $7,000 which is about $350 so we have a lot to do to reduce this expenditure as you can see, I have a lot of small park greens probably because in my past episode I've shown you that you can build parks in the center of zones as you can see around here now there are a lot of parks in the center but because of these parks, we are using a lot of money so you can actually demolish them to um, free up your money and in turn zone some larger zones to earn money now I shall show you how to do this First, you demolish the zones. You do not need to demolish all of them, depending on your city needs. For me, I shall demolish the outskirts of the city. And 
you can dezone your zones so that you can redo them okay give me a moment now the zones are clear and now we shall build a medium density residential and you need to hold the control button when you zone to zone big zones of medium um, density residentials so you can zone at least 2x2 two two zones so that large buildings will grow in place of these houses this will allow you to save more money and also grow larger buildings for your city as the demand of residential properties are high okay and as you can see here we have large car large not car parks green parks and playgrounds so right here I shall zone some dense residential zones and you can zone it by holding control so I have two very big 4x3 zones here and I have demolished some parks and I'll choose some of the bigger zones to build the new dense residential zones that I propose maybe I shall place a dense residential zones right by the university so that a um, more low wealth residents can settle in and perhaps have a good access to education and I don't really like this type of old apartments so I shall dezone them and build a 3x3 residential zones but you need to watch your money as you can see here my finances are slowly decreasing so I will be really careful when I zone these new zones now I shall look around for more potential areas I can dezone probably this could be a good zone here and I shall zone my dense residential zones maybe I can mix with some medium and low residences right and this is good and I can probably like remove some of them some of these houses here now it's really striking that all the houses here look particularly the same so I shall try to increase more variation and zone more dense residential zones there's a problem here because now the zones are now split up probably because the terrain is too steep so you need to take note when you zone new zones remember to hold control hold the control button when you zone so that you can zone large pieces of land like 3x3 three three. okay now I have the zone some of these zones I shall continue on with some of the methods to reduce my expenses now as you can see here my city beautification is 735 it has lowered but it is still a large amount of money paid never mind now you can also use other methods to reduce your money expenses after the city beautification you can check out our government budget now I have a city hall that costs a lot 280 so do not build a city hall until your city is big enough and have sufficient income and the last thing is the loans that I've taken out in the last episode I took out a $5,000 loan because of my poor financial management and I've built this new portion of city here and so now I still owe 1.6k of the money and I pay about $61 per month alright the worst thing that can happen to my city has happened um, my preps video was not saved so I ended up recording a whole lot of videos that wasn't um, saved and now my recordings have come have become futile so I need to show you all again what I have done and right now as you can see my loans have cleared out because I have um, finished the paying the loans and this just shows how long I have run this city if, and if you are wondering why I still have so little money after having so much net income this is because I purposely re reduced the money 
um, to try to um, make it more realistic and I shan't tell you how did I reduce my monthly budget but the main thing here is that I have cleared my loan and I just wanted to say that do not take out a new loan especially high amounts of loan this is because that it will cost a lot of money and as you can see as I raise an amount here the monthly payment increases a lot so if you use up all the money for instance 150k then you need to pay, pay you need to pay 1.8k per month which is very high and you, when you use finish this money then your city will most likely be broke as you pay pay away the hun more than 150,000 simoleons per month simoleons is the the currency for this sim city but that's not important and as i said if you owe a, a debt of more than hundred thousand dollars per month then you'll go broke so do not take huge loans unless you really need it and try to limit your loans to about twenty thousand dollars and now that i've fully covered the important things on how to reduce the city expenses and as you can see i'm having a very healthy budget of earning about $900 per month I shall explain some of the deeper details of the city and before I re-recorded this video I've already done some neighbor deals how do you do neighbor deals? you just zone some power lines to the neighboring city but this neighboring city has to be a city that you have already built so I have already built an industrial city if you haven't, re haven't remembered in the last episode and I also zoned a water connection to the neighboring city so as I explained just now that my water and um, water pumps and coal power stations are not really using their um, their capacity very well now I shall run the ticker and show you what I mean now my income has dropped to $700 per month as you can see sometimes when you grow a city and you put a second water pump it ends up as a lot of capacity wasted because the city is very small and yet you need two water pumps so the usage is only 63% whereas for a large city if you place one more water pump the usage will be about 80 something percent and 80 something per 80, 80 plus percent will be the ideal usage for coal power plants, water pumps and all these facilities and this is 63% which is also not really very utilized so we shall open a monthly budget click on the neighbor deals tab and you can sell power you can calculate how much excess power you have and estimate for instance if the city grows perhaps you need 2000 more megawatt hour of power so I just sell 2000 now and similarly, similarly for water I shall sell around 5000 cubic meters per month so I accept the deal and now my power and water is being sold to the other city and so this city will benefit from the neighbor deals by earning more money as you can see here and but for the other city it will be paying money to buy the water and fire now let me settle this fire buy the water and power I'm sorry so this neighbor deals basically benefit one city and gives a disadvantage to the other city but since this is the main city you can of course use the neighbor deals to help balance the budget now another thing that i want to i wanted to tell you is about landfills as you can see now landfills the service cost is 120 in the past the service cost was higher because there was garbage and somehow my plugins, my downloads from the external hard drive corrupted my um, vanilla SimCity 4 folder. So now there's a lot of tabs. All my plugins are running inside. And the garbage values have dropped. Usually when you grow a city and it grows to very large amounts, the garbage will accumulate and then you need to um, build more landfills. When you build more landfills, the maintenance costs will rise of course and for very large cities that I've played um, the maintenance costs can go as high up as, can go as high up as $2,000 per month 
especially if you build your city entirely on landfills and not on other facilities to burn garbage or recycle garbage. So you need to build recycling centers and waste to energy plants. But right now our city is very small with only a net income of about $1,000 per month. So we do not build this waste to energy plant. But as your city grows and you have a huge net income, you need to build these waste to energy plants. Why is this so? This is because if your garbage, um, the graph levels rise up too high to as astronomical levels, then your landfill just keep just keeps building up. So you need you need to build more ways to energy plants to reduce the garbage levels, so that some of the landfill can be free up to develop your city instead of taking up much of your precious city space and more importantly to save your money. And so. Remember to check your garbage levels regularly. This is one of the more important things. And when your city hits about 50,000 population, you can probably start building one waste to energy facility. And the last thing I would like to show you is the new driving missions. Um, these missions, as I explained in the last tutorial, help you to uh, how do you say gain more money. Um, as you can see, I'm wriggling on my bed, so there's a lot of noise. And here, right here, we have a mission from the garbage van that I click um, from the buttons around the city. You can click on any of these vehicle buttons to do the new driving missions. And it reads here that Uncle V has a job for you, and you need to drive the garbage van to a special building and you need to dispose it in the city dump some sort of dirty package and the income, the cash that you get is astronomical this is one of the highest amount of cash you can earn in the mission so the good thing about zoning land use is that you activate this mission so we shall start mission as you can see here, my balance is only $7,000 per month so if I get this mission right, I can earn $70,000 so we shall start and you, you need to look at the red dot I'm sorry My mic just went down Okay Oh no, it went down again Oh, I hate it when this happens Now you need to drive your vehicle to the red dot Which is really very far away And I hate all these vehicles You can press the shift button to um, Maneuver out the roads so that you don't need to align straight to the roads and the garbage van I would say has a lot of strength in withstanding vehicle um, crashes so that's a very good thing when you drive your van but try to obey the traffic rules so that you don't bang so many vehicles look out for the green lights and you can drive and I'm now driving to the, to the building site and as you can see here, a police is coming over There are police cars chasing me So if I stop and a police car catches me, I'll lose the game And I won't be able to get my bounty of, bounty of $70,000 for this mission And you need to check your light bar of your garbage vehicle Be careful And this stupid car is blocking my way Now I'm driving on a grassland To avoid the traffic and the police cars as you can see my land view is very nearby so a good thing about this empty grassland apart from reducing pollution um, f uh, preventing pollution from reaching the city is that you can um, drive your vehicles around these lands to avoid the police cars so now I have won a toxic waste dump that you shouldn't build because it is very polluting but the more important thing is that your money is now um, substantially higher and I shall show you one more mission if it is possible nope it's not this mission yes it's this one it involves a, uh, a car getting out of a city and not being caught by police cars so you can actually drive all these um, vehicles around to win money oh my mic is down again sorry and my vehicle is in a really very bad shape I hope I successfully get out of the city yes I have 
now I've earned $10,000. Now the reason why my mic keeps going down is because I'm using actually a MP3 player to record my um, gameplay and when I drive the, um, the vehicles, I can't really use my hands to hold the MP3 player so it occasionally drops down onto my bed then I need to adjust it. So I'm really sorry for all the um, noises and the inconveniences caused but I still hope that you learn some tricks on how to earn money in the city which is to um, play the you drive it missions and click on these buttons to check out from time to time these missions that you can do if you can't see these buttons then you need to go to the this tab and this tab then you click on this button which is the mission indicators alright so I shall now recap the ways that you can um, earn money you can balance your budget first you need to check your taxes you can increase your taxes if um, you are losing a lot of money um, your, a healthy tax range will be around 7 to 9 percent try not to go higher than that or else the demand of these zones will decrease and you can also use the taxes to um, to control the demand of dirty industries to promote commerce and, and um, high wealth residentials and re remember to legalize your gambling and to remove all these unnecessary ordinances that cost a lot of money especially when your city is still very young keep those that are good as I've shown you and are not too expensive and you can do neighbor deals you can check out especially the um, the coverage of the police and fire stations as I've explained make sure they're all covered nicely so that you don't waste money putting too many of them in the city and check out your education um, the funding especially your large elementary schools do not give too much funding to them but keep the school bus budgets and the ambulances in the future similarly for hospitals you can provide a, provide a capacity of more than 300 for the number of patients you have and right now I haven't even placed a hospital my very last civics because I do not have really have any money I mean it's not that I do not have enough money but my income is still very low so I haven't decided to build a hospital yet if I build a hospital then it will cost at least a few thousand dollars per month and then I'll be losing money so do not rush to build a large medical center as you can see here and then of course you can also check out the utilities ensure that the, their capacity use is high enough or else demolish them or else you can also sell them to the neighboring city to earn money then you can check out the, the city beautification all the parks and recreational facility, facilities they have do not build too many parks even though in the last tutorial I showed you that building some parks are good you see here small parks can accumulate so even though one park one small park costs $5 52 parks will cost at least $260 and then there's also the government budget you need to check out you need to ensure that your city has enough income before you build the city hall and I guess this is all that I have for you today I hope that you have enjoyed and liked this tutorial even though it is a really simple and um, I would even say boring um, tutorial on my CD and now I shall finish this video by saying that um, please like and subscribe if you like my video and please share it with all your friends I hope it has helped all of you learn more about balancing your finances in the city and I guess this is a really very rush video I'm really sorry for this and my articulation is pretty rushed and fast this time even with some mumbling at times because my mic fell and stuff I'm really sorry about it I still hope that y'all learn a lot of things in this tutorial and next week I'll be out in my army my full-time national service in Singapore I'll be on to a few camp and so that's why I didn't have enough time to record this video I need to do some preparations and I'll be out in the forest smashing through all the trees and trunks 
and long grass so wish me good luck thank you everyone and see you soon